Peter, back in the finals. It's the second time in four years. Sixth trip overall for head coach Eric Spolstra. Game or a series, but sort of away. And, and the way the season went with the close games, the play-in game until the fourth quarter, the first round, can you just sort of, is it possible to encapsulate the run that has delivered you to the NBA Finals? Um, I'll get to that. Let me first say this about Boston. I, I mentioned it out there to Ernie, um, but, uh, you know, we uh, tip our hat to uh, the Celtics or organization. They are first class. Um, you know, Pat feels a certain way about Boston, so I make sure that everybody feels a certain way about Boston. You know, that's part of my job as the caretaker. With that said, uh, there's great respect uh, for them uh, as competitors, and they, they are first class. You look across uh, the way, um, just in terms of their ownership group, and Brad and Joe and his coaching staff, they're good people, uh, and um, they're a class organization. And what happened last year, you know, uh, obviously was on our mind, and it, and it drove us th this year. And that's what you always hope from, for competition, that uh, it can drive you to a higher level. Uh, and I think that's what you saw in this series this year, uh, to be able to have to overcome a, a lot of stuff. And um, in terms of answering your question, uh, look, uh, I, I think probably people can relate to this team. You know, their, their life is hard. Uh, professional sports is, is just kind of a, a reflection sometimes of, of life uh, that things don't always go your way um, and the inevitable setbacks happen and it's how you deal with that uh, collectively there's a lot of different ways uh, that it can go um, it can sap your spirit it can take your a team down uh, for whatever reason uh, with this group it, it's it steeled us and made us closer made us tougher uh, and you know, these are lessons that, uh, you know, hopefully we, we can pass along to our children, you know, that you can develop this fortitude. Um, and, and sometimes you have to suffer, you know, for the things that you want. And, and you know, game six, uh, the only thing, you know, that we could do is sometimes you have to laugh at the things that make you cry. Um, and we did so many things right. Uh, I think from a metric standpoint, we did everything the best that we did all of the playoffs, our defensive activity numbers, uh, rotations, uh, the extra efforts, uh, the pursuits on the offensive glass, five turnovers. We felt like we did all the right things. We had our, you know, season high numbers of uh, uh, of attacks, um, and then to come up short, um, you know, that that could puncture a, a team spirit. Uh, but instead, that just drove us uh, to to more resolve to try to get the job done. Um, you know, I. I I definitely noticed it uh, from the after the Atlanta game, the next day in the film session, how badly this team wanted to keep this season going. And then I felt the exact same way yesterday when we met uh, after our flight. Everybody got to get everything out <laughs> of their system from the night before, and then we just focused on uh, rallying around each other um, and focusing on on the next next task and. Uh, um, we have some incredible competitors in that locker room. They love the challenge. They love putting themselves out there in front of everybody, um, open to criticism, open to everything, but to compete for it. Um, and that's a beautiful thing. Uh, we, we know we have more work to do, but damn, is this hard. It is hard. It's hard business. Um, and it's hard to survive three rounds just to get to that final round. Um, we're extremely grateful for that. We're not even going to think about this next round until we get to Denver. Um, and I wanted everybody to acknowledge just how difficult it is and, um, you know, to enjoy this moment. You know, it's uh, it, the longer you're around uh, in this business, you realize the harder and harder it is to do something like this. It's a special group. Um, now, so we'll definitely take this, uh, and it's uh, poetic justice, you know, to be able to get it on this this court, tough tough environment. Uh, we'll celebrate a little bit tonight on that plane to Denver, and then we'll we'll get on to that next challenge. Caleb came very very close to winning the conference finals MVP. Just yeah. a couple of votes, just to put it simply, what did he mean, especially his offense mean to you in the series? It's been amazing. Uh, you know, if, if you're 
a, a real competitor and it's in your soul. And that's what Caleb is. He's a competitor. Every bit the competitor that, you know, you talk about with Jimmy or Bam or, you know, whatever. Uh, Caleb is a competitor. You get to the higher stakes, the further you get along, the more competitors are going to reveal themselves. Um, you know, game sevens or get to the conference finals, it's not for everybody in this association. Otherwise, you know, more players, more teams would do it. You got to be, you, gotta, you have to be wired a little bit differently. Uh, and Caleb is, he's pure. Uh, he competes on both ends, lays it all out there for everybody to see. Um, he's accepted different roles, uh, but we needed him to be more of a player. You know, with, with, uh, with Tyler and Vic out, you know, we've needed more offense. Um, quite frankly, we've needed more guys like, uh, you know, Gabe and, and Caleb to, you know, show how much they've improved, you know, with their player development. Um, but, uh, yeah, he has so much respect in that locker room um, just because how hard he competes. Uh, it's like his last breath on every single possession, and I, I love the guy for that. Spo, you obviously have a roster full of competitors, but specific to Jimmy, we see what he does on the floor. But off the floor, how would you describe the belief he's instilled within the rest of the group? You have to have, uh, you know, a guy that you can hold on to. Um, you know, particularly uh, uh, in those moments of truth. Um, and I've said this before, there's no way to quantify the confidence that he can instill uh, in everybody. And, you know, Jimmy's never had to apologize. I don't want him to ever apologize for who he is and, and how he approaches competition. Uh, it's intense. Uh, you know, it's not for everybody, and, and we're not for everybody. That's why we think it's like an incredible marriage. Um, we never judge him uh, on that. He doesn't judge us for how crazy we get. Uh, it's the same language. Uh, but the confidence level that he can uh, create for everybody on the roster uh, is incredible. Um, I've almost never seen anything like it, you know, but I have. Uh, uh, but he's, he's special, you know, because he does it on both ends of the court. Um, he can play 48 if you need him to. Um, and then he just has a way also that, you know, he has a hard edge uh, and he's, he's gnarly, but he knows how to have a soft touch just to give somebody some confidence at the right time. So that, that's a special gift that he has. In the uh, moments after game six, how did you consider how to play it to your team, how to present what needed to happen to your team? I didn't. I mean, you know, those are probably just raw emotions. Um, you know, I, I think when you have such an intimate relationship with a, with a locker room and they have it with each other, the staff has it with them, they have it with the staff, uh, sometimes, um, you know, it's just whatever's raw, whatever's real at that time. Um, it w wasn't scripted, and it's not even the reason why. Like, we, we have uh, a bunch of guys that just love competition. Just drop us off anywhere and compete for it. Like, put ourselves out there open to all the criticism and, and everything. But, hey, it's got to happen between these four lines. We don't care what the rest of the world is saying. We don't care who, who's criticizing who. you got to line up in between these four lines, and let's figure this out. Uh, and I think that's the nature uh, of this team that I think, you know, a lot of people respect. Um, because we have our, had our shares, uh, our fair share of um, setbacks and disappointments, frustration, but we just keep on picking ourselves up uh, and getting on to the next fight. I know, I know it's not all about scheme, but you guys are able to sprinkle in zone a good amount uh, tonight. How important has just that defensive versatility and versatility in general for this team been uh, along this path? Yeah, you know, I think the, the versatility. Come on, Mr. Butler. Come on. Come on. Uh, the versatility and toughness and guys like this that drive it, you know, if your best players aren't defenders, it's hard to create a good defense. We have Jimmy Butler and Bam Adebayo. They care about 
defending and doing the tough things, it's pretty easy to figure out the rest of the stuff. And schematics are, are not it. It's doing committing to doing tough things. All right, appreciate y'all.